It's time for Rhythm Tracks. Rhythm Tracks. Dining together. See our companion piece standing alone eating a lean cuisine over the kitchen sink. This is a story of a holiday and home. That holiday is called uh, d- d- Dining Together Day. It's not very popular yet, but we're trying to get something going. Helping make ready a celebration is part of the fun. Inhaling the petroleum distal it fumes from the silver polish is most of it. Especially for one of the nicest days of the year. Abe Vigoda's birthday. Thanksgiving. All right, that makes more sense. Something more recent. Yes, it's also staring stupidly at Fruit Day. <laughs> okay, Fruit, prepare to be looked at by a real pro. <laughs> there is happiness in the air. And the smell of turkey. A weird scrawny turkey with some sort of congenital bone disease. Mmm, that does look good. I'm pretty sure that's a possum. What do you think? No, no, it's muskrat. Muskrat? Yeah, definitely. Wow, cool. After dinner, they're excited to see that brand new parade float of William McKinley. Thanksgiving is a Native American word meaning obscenely tall candles. Thanksgiving is a day for the best of everything. For instance, water glasses instead of the whole family drinking from a communal livestock pail. Yeah, we got glasses. I'm sick of working all day. Can't stand this holiday. What a glorious Thanksgiving day! And friends invited to dinner. That is John Dillinger. We remember the pilgrims had only rough tables on which to serve the first Thanksgiving feast, yet it was shared with friendly Indians. Oh, they were friendly until they tasted Goody Brewster's yams with mini marshmallows. Then tomahawks were pulled. (laughs) Well, good Thanksgiving. Time for bed. Night, Mom. Night. It is good to share a holiday with friends. Okay, now remember, we'll eat a meal with them, but they are not our friends. (laughs) And it is good to have friends like to come to our home. Welcome. Let me just take all the pies and side dishes that you brought. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't bring anything at all. Why don't you come in and stuff yourself with my food? (laughs) (laughs) Sounds a little personal, Mike. Good manners make people happy. And a good table manners make eating together a happy time. Oh, it's no pouring scotch into a 7-Up can and sneaking into the den to watch the Lions-Bears game, but it's fun, I guess. (laughs) Don't you just all sit down, please! Milling. We are thankful for our home and our happy meat. (laughs) Whoa, don't overdo it on the Thanksgiving prayer there, Jonathan Edwards. We have good table manners. And know what to do with a napkin. Well, of course, you save it for later, roll it into a rat tail, wet the end, and snap your brother in the pee-pee. Oh. And how to use a spoon in eating soup easily without noise. Oh, Lord, I thank you that I wasn't taken by the diphtheria outbreak that took half the town, but mostly that I know how to properly eat soup. Hey, do you hear they discovered a third planet? I'm thinking of having the candles lengthened. Mother, no. It just wouldn't be Thanksgiving without turkey. Have a deathly allergy to turkey? Too bad! Eat your way through the anaphylactic shock. We know Mother knows how to cook it. A recipe? Desiccate for six hours till meat is like a softball. 
and father knows how to carve it. Clearly, just <laughs> expert. It is fine to know how to sit up and watch it being carved. When the only other option is to silently eat soup, I guess it does qualify as a thrill. Yeah, something like that, I don't know. Why not just use the blender at this point? Ah, cool! Dad's myrtleizing it! You would know this is a holiday plate. That candle's more appetizing than anything on it. At the first Thanksgiving dinner, the Indians didn't eat turkey with a fork. But it is easy to learn to use one the right way, to take small mouthfuls. Uh, oh, Jesus, it's drier than cardboard. Ash. Uh, it's like chewing a piece of grandma. How's that turkey, kids? <coughs> Great, Dad. Really delicious. <coughs> Timmy, help. I'm dying here. Oh, I gotta spit this out somewhere. Where the hell's the dog when you need him? Hey, a little more white meat, princess? Oh, God, no. I mean, it's so rich, I couldn't. <coughs> Is there any more gravy or water or anything moist? <coughs> help. <coughs> eat bread in small bites. So we never have to talk with food in our mouth. Unlike little Joey, who can jam half a loaf of Wonder Bread into his mouth at once. It is good to have learned to chew with lips closed. Mm -hmm. And know when to take a drink. Yeah, about an hour before dinner and a good stiff one. Uh, can you let me off the hook, Ma? But the string beans taste like failure. Good table manners keep our meals happy meat. And those who eat with us happy. So we're all smothered under a ten-ton blanket of happiness. Hmm. Learning to use a knife the right way takes practice. Yet each time we do, it becomes easier. Soon you'll be eating mashed potatoes and peas right off the knife blade. This is making me, and those who eat with me, happy. <laughs> what to do with a knife and fork, even when finished using them, is part of eating well. Is it? Holidays are days to be glad. And all good manners are ways to make people glad. We like to offer help. Or to help when asked. It makes us glad, which in turn can lead to happiness. <laughs> Close the loop. It is nice to talk with others. If you can get a word in edgewise. <laughs> and to know when to wait and listen. So she gets out of the hospital on Monday, yes. Yes, dear? Daddy said you were easy. What does that mean? <gasps> well, what I said was I... <laughs> So, coffee? Little Baileys? We are glad to eat neatly, without spots. We smear our boogers on our pants, not the tablecloth. Now we burn down the lives we've made, sweetie. Oh, boy. <laughs> Holidays are fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I think I burnt all the hair off of it this year. Good for you, Mother. Ah, yes, Mother's famous holiday pile of bear <laughs> That sound, are there demons scratching at the cellar door? Hey, kids, it's your Uncle Ponto. Just let me come up for pie and coffee, would ya? <laughs> And it is good to be part of a celebration. Just ask Cool and his gang. <laughs>
It is fine to have learned so much and to have so much in our home to make holiday celebrations happy. It is pleasant to be happy because it increases our amount of gladness. I wish for a fire truck and suffering upon all my enemies. Now, could you wish for more? Brought to you by the Blandness Council. Blandness, because everything else is just too hard. It's time for Copyright by Rift Tracks, all rights reserved.